Hello guys and welcome back to another video of mine. So as you can see by the title, yes this is my huge uh, model playing collection, but disclaimer, before we go too far into the video, I would just like to point out that I've had these models for years and years and some of them are unfortunately broken and have met the end of their time. Quickly, before we go anywhere else, let's get this video to 1,000 likes, okay? It's not a massive goal, but let's get it to 1,000 likes, and I will give away one of the planes in this video. That's on you guys. If you want a free plane, then <laughs> like the video. But yeah, anyway, enjoy this video featuring all of my model aircraft. Okay, and cue the iPhone uh, microphone quality. <laughs> so basically, these planes I have here are just like the ones that you get off the aircraft. They're not that amazing, but I like them. They're cool, and I have uh, uh, a, a load of them. <laughs> Obviously, we've got a Monarch model, which they don't fly anymore, so it's cool to have one of these. Then we've got the Thompson 737. British Airways 757, aka, the, you know, the stick insects. We've got these little tiny weeny models down here, which just aren't really anything. They're just a little bit of plastic, but you know. Concord, everyone loves Concord. Then you've got this Air Malta A320 by the looks of things. Then we've got this Flyby uh, ERJ145. Obviously, these don't fly anymore. So this is a nice one to have as well. Then this one, this one's actually one of my favorites. And the reason why that is, is because it just does stuff which not a lot of models can actually do. The ailerons actually move. Like, I can't really touch it because it's quite deep in between these models. But you can see the ailerons sort of sag down. I just really love this model. And like, the, the propeller spins, the wheels go in and out. Like, literally, if we do this... Even the rudder moves, like, it's, it's pretty cool. The Jet 2 757 Stick Insects, Lancaster Bomber hiding in there. Then we've got the Concorde, which everyone loves. Virgin Atlantic 747, these don't fly anymore, very recently stopped flying. Another Stick Insect over here, FlySunWing.com, never actually heard of it, someone just got me this. I, I believe it's in America somewhere, Canada, mate? I, I have no clue, someone can correct me on that. Titan Airways Stick Insect, you've got two, I've got a load of Stick Insects. The BA777-200, a nice little easy jet hiding in there. These ones are also my favourites. These are the big, obviously, A380s. And these are really nice. They're, they're heavy models. The, the wheels come out and, you know, you can take the wheels off if you don't want the wheels. You also have uh, the engines, which come off and uh, they're, they're hollow. So you can see through them, which is kind of cool. And if you blow in them, which I'm probably not going to be able to do if I do this. engines do spin around that's the point i was trying to make this thomas cook a330 in their very old livery actually which is really cool another monarch this is a um a 767 don't really understand that the painting contrast on the like, why are the wings dark gray never understood that here we have a british airways a318 by the look i think it's an a318 where's an a319 that's an a319 we're missing a tail on this one but that's an a319 and yeah that's definitely an a318 Another Monarch A321. Back here is a Smart Aviation uh, A320 Neo. Um, this is a company that I had placement with a little while back. Ukraine International 737-800. The 200th anniversary EasyJet A320. I think that's what it is anyway. Back here we've then also got another A380. This one's just the Qantas one. Engines obviously spin around. We've also got another A380 over here. Exact same, they're, they're, they're all the same, these three A380s. We then got this very uh, yellow uh, Honor Air. This is a Turkish airline, I flew with these ages ago and I had this model on display for quite a while. So, I, and I do believe that models over time turn white or plastic turns white. So I'm just assuming that that's the reason why this is that color. Down here we've then got the Air Pacific Fiji style, I think it's like, I, I don't know. Never really seen this aircraft before, but it is in the giveaway which I'm doing, which some of you might not know of. Speaking of giveaways, 
These three are also in the giveaway. I'm just displaying them. They're not out. I'm not taking them out of the box because obviously I'll be giving one of these away. So, you know, whoever wins it, one of your models is inside of there. We then have this British Airways stick insects. Again, I think the yellowing sort of thing we were just talking about has also happened on the engines of this. Got another little baby bus, EasyJet. The Dreamliner in its house colors. A smaller A380 British Airways, a little plastic thing. Now, this one is also one of my favorites. This one is the Aer Lingus 737. It's a very old 737. The 737-200, you can see it just there. Now, this airline also doesn't fly anymore. I don't believe it's the XL uh, Airways or whatever it is. I think I flew on this airline once to the Caribbean, maybe, if they operated that route. Another British Airways baby bus and another British Airways baby bus. You know what they, you know what they are. And then we've got this tiny little Bulgaria Air A320. Now, unfortunately, it is missing the part at the back, but, you know, we'll ignore that. Moving on from those down there, we then have the British Airways 787 just hidden and tucked under these planes here. Then we have an Embraer uh, 190 British Airways livery. Um, it's currently a little bit uh, 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 broken. <laughs> And then we also have another flyby aircraft. This is another uh, Embraer 190. We've then got a Dan Air. Yes, my own airline, guys. Calm down. We've got a Dan Air. I don't even know what it is. It's a BAE 146 300. Yeah, there we go. That's what it is. We've got Ryanair, which is <laughs> it's been absolutely destroyed. Basically, it's got no engines and no winglets. It's kind of it's kind of it's kind of suitable for Ryanair, though. I mean, you know. We have this tiny little Singapore Airlines A330, but yeah, unfortunately, this has been another one of those ones which hasn't been uh, looked after very well. So it's currently missing its main landing gear, two engines, and its nose wheel is halfway through retracting. Well, then we've got another baby bus in the old Thomas Cook livery, another EasyJet plane, you know, everyone loves EasyJet. Then we have another one of those small, I believe these two come in the same package, okay. So we have another uh, Singapore Airlines uh, aircraft. This is just the A380 version. Unfortunately, they were taken care of in the exact same way. It's missing its nose gear. And it's also uh, kind of missing, yeah, you, you can kind of see it there. It's missing one engine. Then moving on to the final group of sort of airliners, obviously you have another EasyJet tucked in there. It's missing a tail. I have no clue where that's gone. Uh, we have an A321 Aer Lingus a Dash 8 Q400 Flyby, another Flyby. I have a few Flybys for some reason. Tucked away in there, we have the Qantas A3, I was about to say 747. We have the A380 uh, Qantas. Then we have uh, Monarch in obviously the old livery, A330, missing an engine. And then last on the airliner list, we have this Air India 777, which has these very cool window patterns. As you can see, they have like little flicks at the top kind of cool i really like them and so that is all for the uh airliner aspect of this video as you can see there all of my uh airline aircraft and you've got the the three down here um that's all of them and then yeah we have all of these military aircraft down here now i'm not a massive fan of military aircraft but my grandma has been kind enough he stored them at his for absolutely years now and looking through the camera jesus there's so many there and in person this is crazy like it looks like there's so much but there is loads <laughs> I, I honestly don't even know how much this is worth. If you guys want to sort of um, value all of these in the, in the comments, then you're more than welcome to. But um, I've just collected these over absolutely years. And I wouldn't say I'm a collector because they have been stored away. I've never had them on show. I literally um, get them and just put them in a box and keep them away. Like, maybe I have the occasional one down. Like, you guys have probably seen in my videos as one sitting on top of my PC. But I'm not a massive fan of collecting. And like I say... Um, these have just been stored up over the years. I wouldn't willingly go out there and buy like loads of models. Like, I, I, do you know what? I must sound like the biggest idiot because I've got so many models in front of me. But trust me, I don't. Collecting these isn't a passion. I just, I just have them. Yeah. <laughs> So I'll briefly show you the military aircraft. Like I'm not a massive fan of military aircraft. I honestly don't know what half of these are. But if we start over here, we've got the uh, the B24 apparently. I'll just sort of uh, slowly pan through them all so you guys can see what they are. These have never ever been removed from their boxes. So yeah, they've just always stayed in their original packaging. As you can see, we've got an Avro Lancaster. Obviously, you know what that one is. We've got some really cool ones down here. We've got this really strange but cool camo paint job. Lockheed Hudson GR Mark 1, apparently. This German aircraft, and then this one over here. 
Now these are the biggest of the group. We got the uh, Ch Ch Chupalov Tu20. <laughs> the uh, bear, apparently. Yeah, we've got this massive, uh, massive model here. As you can see, it's got like double propellers, which is kind of cool, actually. If I if I put my hand next to it as a reference to how big it is, that's sort of how big it is. And then we've got this one up here, which is also like one of the, if I put my hand next to it, you can kind of see how big it is. Now these ones, I obviously have taken out the packages. I've had these for absolutely years. And like, like I said at the start of the video, I was very young when I've received these models and bought these models. So like, that is why some of them obviously aren't cared of as much because I was young. I just like to play with them back in the day. But here we have the uh, Lancaster again, painted black underneath. I assume this was for like night flying so nobody, no enemy could see from the underneath. A Japanese plane by the looks of things, its propeller actually spins. That's kind of cool. The Harrier jump jet. This strange looking one with an aerial refueling thing on the side by the looks of it. I think that's what it's for. And then the last one we have out of the box is obviously this one. I'm not too sure on the name on this one. Another German aircraft. This one, everyone knows what this plane is. Really cool plane. This is also one of my favorites. We have the Lockheed C-130 Hercules. They're just cool. Like, look at it. It looks really cool. I'll sort of just pan through these ones. You guys can see what they are. Obviously, there are the aircraft which are in the current giveaway. Another plane with a really cool sort of camouflage. The Douglas C-47. This is one of my favorite aircraft in real life. These are so cool. Tucked away down here is another German aircraft. The Lancaster Bomber again. Is that a Japanese aircraft? Maybe. I think it is. I'm not too sure what country that represents, actually. What air force that represents. Not too sure. We just got these ones down here, which are kind of cool. These ones have kind of weird paint jobs as well. This one sort of has a similar design uh, as a Lancaster, but it's, it's not. And then just behind here, we have this one. I mean, like I said, if I was a collector, I'd know the names of all these planes, but I, I just don't know. If I then pull this one away, we've got what looks to be like the sort of aircraft which would be on a uh, aircraft carrier. Sort of try and get you the best view down here, but that's that one. And then we've got a very famous one coming up. We've got the Blackbird. This one is very cool indeed. And just for a reference, again, these are how sort of big they are. And then we go to quite small ones. This one's like much smaller than my hand. Now we start coming towards the end of um, my model plane collection. And that is all of them. And that is my entire, <laughs> my entire collection. Oh yeah, not to mention I do have some in here as well, but these ones are absolutely battered. These ones, these ones just can't be in the video. Yeah, it's just, it, yeah, but yeah. I, there's not <laughs> there's not much explaining to do just actually i almost forgot to show you guys this one as you guys know this is my window from uh this exact boeing 747 which is now on the walls and lights behind it which is really cool if we take a close look at this as you can see the registration here ow my tripod just fell on me as you can see here it's golf charlie india victor echo that's the registration it's, it's g scythe that's that's how i remember it but that's the registration for this window, obviously, it come from that aircraft. We've then got the safety card, which also come from a Boeing uh, 747 in the British Airways. Uh, livery and airline, kind of cool stuff. Yeah, dread to think how many hands have been on this. But then here comes the cool thing. I've had this aircraft for absolutely years, just like my other airline models. Obviously, it's the 747 to match this little display that I have going on. Now, if I bring this over here, obviously, you can see the registration just there. We can then look at the registration on the side of the aircraft. And would you look at that? Coincidentally, it's the exact same registration. So this whole wall goes on this one plane. I don't know. It's just I just think that was a really cool coincidence. And... I've had this plane model for years and I haven't had this window since the other day. So yeah, pretty cool stuff to have a model which represents this. I just wanted to show you guys that. Anyway, that's a wrap for my model aircraft collection. If you guys thought it was cool, make sure you leave it a thumbs up. Remember, 1k likes and I'll give one of these away. Thank you so much for tuning in to today's video. And until then, I will see you guys next time. Yeah.